Video 7 Using the Selection Tools Select with the Marquee Tools. The Marquee Tools let you select rectangles, ellipses, and one pixel rows and columns. 1. Select a Marquee Tool. Rectangular Marquee makes a rectangular selection or a square when used with the Shift key. Elliptical Marquee makes an elliptical selection or a circle when used with the Shift key. Single Row or Single Column Marquee defines the border as a one pixel wide row or column. 2. Specify one of the selection options in the option bar. Selection options are New, Add to, Subtract from, Intersect with. 3. Specify a feathering setting in the options bar. Turn anti-aliasing on or off for the elliptical marquee tool. 4. For the rectangular marquee tool, or the elliptical marquee tool, choose a style in the options bar. Normal determines the marquee proportions for dragging. Fixed ratio sets a height to width ratio. Enter values, decimal values are valid, for the aspect ratio. For example, to draw a marquee twice as wide as it is high, enter 2 for the width and 1 for the height. Fixed size specifies set values for the marquee's height and width. Enter pixel values in whole numbers. 5. For aligning your selection to guides, a grid, slices, or document bounds, do one of the following to snap your selection. Choose View, Snap, or choose View, Snap To, and choose a command from the submenu. The marquee selection can snap to a document boundary or to a variety of Photoshop extras controlled in the Snap To submenu. 6. Do one of the following to make a selection. With the Rectangular Marquee Tool or the Elliptical Marquee Tool, drag over the area you want to select. Hold down Shift as you drag to constrain the marquee to a square or circle. Release the mouse button before you release Shift to keep the selection shape constrained. To drag a marquee from its center, hold down Alt in Windows or Option in Mac OS after you begin dragging. With the Single Row or Single Column Marquee tool, click near the area you want to select, and then drag the marquee to the exact location. If no marquee is visible, increase the magnification of your image view. Select with the Magnetic Lasso tool. When you use the Magnetic Lasso tool, the border snaps to the edges of defined areas in the image. The Magnetic Lasso tool is not available for 32 bits per channel images. The Magnetic Lasso tool is especially useful for quickly selecting objects with complex edges set against high contrast backgrounds. 1. Select the Magnetic Lasso tool. 2. Specify one of the selection options in the options bar. Selection options are New Add to Subtract from, intersect with. 3. Optional. Set feathering and anti-aliasing in the options bar. 4. Set any of these options. Width. To specify a detection width, enter a pixel value for width. The magnetic lasso detects edges only within the specified distance from the pointer. Contrast. To specify the lasso's sensitivity to edges in the image, enter a value between 1% and 100% for contrast. A higher value detects only edges that contrast sharply with their surroundings. A lower value detects lower contrast edges. Frequency To specify the rate at which the lasso sets fastening points, enter a value between 0 and 100 for frequency. A higher value anchors the selection border in place more quickly. Stylus Pressure If you are working with a stylus tablet, 
select or deselect the stylus pressure option. When the option is selected, an increase in stylus pressure decreases the edge width. 5. Click in the image to set the first fastening point. Fastening points anchor the selection border in place. 6. To draw a freehand segment, either release or keep the mouse button depressed, and then move the pointer along the edge you want to trace. The most recent segment of the selection border remains active. As you move the pointer, the active segment snaps to the strongest edge in the image based on the detection width set in the options bar. Periodically, the magnetic lasso tool adds fastening points to the selection border to anchor previous segments. 7. If the border doesn't snap to the desired edge, click once to add a fastening point manually. Continue to trace the edge and add fastening points as needed. 8. To switch temporarily to the other lasso tools, do one of the following. To activate the lasso tool, hold down Alt in Windows or Option in Mac OS and drag with the mouse button depressed. To activate the polygonal lasso tool, hold down Alt in Windows or Option in Mac OS and click. 9. To erase recently drawn segments and fastening points, press the Delete key until you've erased the fastening points for the desired segment. 10. Close the selection border. To close the border with a freehand magnetic segment, double-click or press Enter or Return. To close the border with a straight segment, hold down Alt in Windows or Option in Mac OS and double-click. To close the border, drag over the starting point and click. 11. Optional. Click Refine Edge to further adjust the selection boundary or view the selection against different backgrounds or as a mask. Select with the Polygonal Lasso Tool. The Polygonal Lasso Tool is useful for drawing straight edge segments of a selection border. 1. Select the Polygonal Lasso Tool and select Options. 2. Specify one of the selection options in the Options bar. Selection options are New, Add to, Subtract from, Intersect with. 3. Optional. Set feathering and anti-aliasing in the options bar. 4. Click in the image to set the starting point. 5. Do one or more of the following. To draw a straight segment, Position the pointer where you want the first straight segment to end and click. Continue clicking to set endpoints for subsequent segments. To draw a straight line at a multiple of 45 degrees, hold down Shift as you move to click the next segment. To draw a freehand segment, hold down Alt in Windows or Option in Mac OS and drag. When you finish, release Alt or Option and the mouse button. To erase recently drawn segments, press the Delete key. 6. Close the selection border. Position the polygonal lasso tool pointer over the starting point. A closed circle appears next to the pointer, and click. If the pointer is not over the starting point, double-click the polygonal lasso tool pointer, or Control-click in Windows, or Command-click in Mac OS. 7. Optional. Click Refine Edge to further adjust the selection boundary or view the selection against different backgrounds or as a mask. Select with the Lasso Tool. The Lasso Tool is useful for drawing freeform segments of a selection border. 1. Select the Lasso Tool and select Options. 2. Drag to draw a freehand selection of the border. 3. Specify one of the selection options in the options bar. Selection options are New, Add to, Subtract from, Intersect with. 4. Optional. Set feathering and anti-aliasing in the options bar. 5. 
To draw a straight edge selection border when no other pixels are present, press Alt in Windows or Option in Mac OS and click where segments should begin and end. You can switch between drawing freehand and straight edge segments. 6. To erase recently drawn segments, hold down the Delete key until you've erased the fastening points for the desired segment. 7. To close the selection border, release the mouse without holding down Alt in Windows or Option in Mac OS. 8. Optional. Click Refine Edge to further adjust the selection boundary or view the selection against different backgrounds or as a 